<clears throat> Let me find myself. Here I am. Hi. What's going on tonight? I'm just doing some tags. I cut out some out of some cardstock. And I got a couple more sitting here. I got all these little ones, though, you know, leftovers from the big ones. So I got to do these tomorrow, I think. Tomorrow's Sunday. Sean will be watching the game. And maybe we could do some little ones tomorrow. I don't know what to do. I have a problem. <laughs> I have a major problem. I don't know how to do, like, I have all these papers over here, but I don't know. I don't know. I can't explain it. I want to, like put them all together and then like put like a gesso over the top or something. I don't know. I'm not good with mixed media, so I got to watch some videos or something. I'm going to call Lauren. That's what I'm going to do. I just watched her flip through and she did such cool stuff. So anyways, so I'm obsessed with this paper. <laughs> this is vintage wrapping paper and this is my last piece <laughs> And I tried to copy it, you know, and put it in my printer and stuff. But the ink that they use, this is like neon, I'm telling you. You know what I mean? So it's just not happening. So I'm really bummed. But maybe someday if I get some neon pink ink, I can put it in my printer. <laughs> but anyways, so I have this vintage stamp that's an old vase which I love, and I always put roses on top of it. This is, like, one of my tags I always make. And I just put scraps on top of it, and I just think it looks cool. I don't know why. I just like it. And sometimes I do scraps, you know, and, like, make these weird bouquets and whatever. So, and I sewed some tulle and some gold chiffon. And anyways, I coffee stained this paper, and I liked it because I put pink glitter in it. So it has just this extra little hue of glitter. And I was like, oh boy, you know, and I like the dots and stuff. And so I'm just like, okay, well, let's just do this then because, and then I have this piece too that I have to figure out something to do with because that's cool. So anyways, for these, I love this. It's just cool. So I have Victorian Velvet. And I have Walnut Stain with some ground espresso on it. <laughs> so <clears throat> for that one. And then, you know, it's just inking. So we're just going to hang out because, you know. But what I like to do is I noticed. I'll show you. This is a little one, though. I wonder if that's going to be good enough for a whole tag. We'll see. So I like to do the dark walnut stain on the edge. And then I go in after I'm done with the Victorian velvet and, like, just rosy it up. You know what I mean? And it just looks good. And then I used to have this st stamp in my shop, but I don't have it in there anymore. Um, it says Flora on the front. You guys probably know some of you that's been doing this for a while. This is the Flora one. And it's a big one like this. And it has, you know, a whole bunch of different cool stuff on it. So, I just, I don't know why I'm using this one, actually. This is the one I need there. Gosh, I was wondering why it wasn't working. <laughs> So I like to get the edges kind of dark, you know. My problem is, well, it's not a problem, but I just like the way the, the cardstock looks, you know. If you do a good job dyeing, then 
you don't want to just cover it up. At least I don't. So I'm just like, hey, this looks good. You know, just like this. I love it. And then this one, I'm dipping in the Victorian Velvet. I love Victorian Velvet because it looks like spilled wine. At least to me it does, you know. And it just kind of rosies it up a little bit. Just a little bit of pink hue. And it's not like pink, you know, either. It's just a nice kind of a wine. And I really like it on glassine. Oh, it looks so good. But there. So it's kind of rosy and dark. I love it. And then I have one of these, man. This has had the same ink in it from 1980. What? I don't even know. <laughs> you know. And sometimes, like, when I just have a little bit of black soot left or whatever, I'll just throw it on, you know. I just keep, I just keep dumping stuff in here. But I actually really haven't. Like, I bought this, like I said, sometime in the 80s. I don't know when, but I've never hardly put much on it. <clears throat> I'm not big on stamping platforms. I have one. Yes, I know I could use it, but you know, I'm just not in the mood. It's another tool I don't feel like using. Actually, I guess this is okay like this. I just... I better do this because it's, oh, I did it backwards. Bummer. Because I have ink pen on the back from when I was, oh, well, I'll have to ink back there now. Then I just push it on like this. Then I got to get the bottom a little bit because it's not long enough. Nice. So it says flora on the top. I love that. See, I like it just like this myself. But, you know, it's illegal. <laughs> it's very illegal. Okay, now. Now I get this one. The vase. I wish I could have a blackest black ink. Like, I want a really dark one. Or I want to be able to stamp it twice. So, I should have this on a stamping platform. So... Do as I say, not as I do. <laughs> right? Do as I say, not as I do. <laughs> okay, and then we'll get the vase on. I got a piece of wallpaper down. See, I should do it twice. But I don't think I could get it twice in the same spot. And to put this on my stamping platform, then I would have to take it off the, the wood. You know what I'm saying? So, you think I can get it in the same spot? I probably can't. I'm scared. But, I've had a double image before, and it doesn't look bad. It kind of actually is neat. You know? So, it just depends how picky you are. Ooh, I got it pretty good. Eh, it's a little off, but that's cool. I'm happy. And then I'm just ripping these pieces off. This is my last sheet. My last sheet of my favorite. Mm. And then I have this bag of scraps right here. Don't even ask me for what I was doing. I think I was making, I don't even know what, but it's got tool in it forget what was I doing with this I really don't know that it's got veil pieces what was I doing I think oh maybe this was for my I don't know anyways so I got a piece of tool and a piece of gold chiffon oh I forgot one piece you gotta do this the polish I just have to use this up it's hard <laughs> <clears throat> but it still works and I just put some on the end of my nail <laughs> you know and then I just go like this and it makes these cool lines <laughs> so 
you know, I'm real technical. And then you got these cool gold streaks in your thing, you know. But, you know, use whatever. <laughs> use whatever. It's um, my favorite stuff ever. This is enchanted gold. But it does dry out. Even if you use the saran wrap, it still dries out. So this is not the product to get and hoard. You know how we do. You got to kind of use it. Oh, there. Now it's got some glisten. Did you see it? Trying to get it, but I got a big piece on the end, and I don't want to smush it too much. Am I getting it on? I am. I want a little more right here. Nice. Can you see the glisten now? Ooh, yes. I love it. Okay. So then I just put the gold on the bottom because I just put gold in there. So it's pink and gold and berry. And then I put the tool there. And then I put the little piece of rose on top. <laughs> and then I go sew it. Which I didn't think of was a good video for that. Bummer. Oh well. Just relax then. That's all you can do. Or shut me off. <laughs> One or the other. Okay, so then I just go and I sew all the way around with my white thread. And then I sew around this, you know, like these. And everyone is like a different shape and stuff. So it's kind of fun. Kind of fun. Whoops, there's my big thing. All right, so I'm going to move this over to my sewing machine and I'll leave it sitting there. And then we'll do one more. <clears throat> um, I got ink pen on this, so let's see if this ink will cover it up. If not, then I have to flip this over and or cut it off, I mean. But it looks like it might be okay. Let's try it and see. <laughs> This one isn't as pretty. It doesn't have as many dots, and there's not very much glitter either. So we can use a bigger piece of paper. That's why I was using such little pieces, because I loved the background so much with the dots and stuff. But this one doesn't have that, so we can use a bigger piece. Oh, I'm scared. This is my last piece. I'm telling you. Okay, so the dark on the edges, and then I go in with the Victorian velvet to get some rosiness. To get a little bit of rosy cheeks. There, look, and it makes it all kind of rosy. That's pretty. It's amazing what you can do with just a little ink. Right? Okay, and then I'll do my flora stamp again. And we'll lay it down, push it on, and then we'll pick our paper for my roses. And we'll put the vase on. There. Cool. Hi, Jennifer. Oh, about the double stamp. I know. <laughs> I know I was freaking out, but I tried it. It worked. I mean, it wasn't too bad, you know. You could tell a little bit, but I am okay with it. I'm okay with it. <laughs> okay, and then usually right now I sew all the way around, and then I do this, but I'm not sewing right now. So and this one can have a bigger piece, so 
Should I do a square? Because I don't want to miss any. But you know what? On top of this base, just so that you know, you can put like, you know, these kind, you know, from Daisy, you know, this. Look how good that looks. You know what I'm saying? So you can do die cuts too. I don't know what this stamp is called, but you can look for one, you know, somewhere. But isn't that cool? I love how that looks. And you can even put the stems inside. Look, isn't that neat? I like it. Just saying. But I'm doing this. And then for this too, because I liked this so much, I just did that. That was it. Put the gold and all that stuff. And, you know, sewed around stuff. I didn't even do the base. And then I just put tracing paper on with the edges with the Victorian velvet on it. I don't know. I kind of like it. I was going to put like a rose right here or something. I don't know. I use tracing paper a lot when I don't want to cover the back up because I like it so much. You know what I mean? So a couple ideas. All right, so this one, I'm going to just tear a square. It's going to be, you know, the weirdest bouquet you've ever seen. Oh, yeah. I like it. <laughs> I like it. So I'm going to just do the edge. Jennifer, I did cardboard earlier. Did you see him? Oh, my God, I'm obsessed. I think I want to do more. I just had one sheet, you know, sitting here and I've been sitting here and I keep moving it and moving it. And I'm like, forget it. I just got to do it. So I did it, but I'm not done. I don't think I might have to revisit that. And I waxed it too. It was amazing. Cheap thrills. Ooh, look, that's going to look cool. I love it. And then I want to put the piece of gold. Oh, we forgot the gold. We got to do the gold. Um, and you can use any kind. I just, I like the sparkle, but I don't want to use, you know, glitter because then it looks like a kindergartner's art project. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> so I would rather have some kind of glisten that looks more adultish, even though I do use the glitter, but I'm really picky about it. And then you just can smear this around. You can gild the edges with the gold, whatever you want to do. Yes. I love it. I love the cardboard too. It's so fun. Okay, so that's amazing. All right, so then here's the gold. And then the tool is, and this is some thick tool. This is like a wedding dress underskirt, you know, where it needs to be puffy. So this is like some major tool right here. This is not, no joke, you know what I mean? <laughs> it's that kind, really stiff. So it's kind of fun, you know. All right, so I put the gold chiffon down because we just put the gold in there. So I'm mimicking the gold and pink. And then I go like this. And then I just do crazy sewing around. And that's it. And then you get these. And they're pretty cute. I like them. So tomorrow's Sunday, I'll be back. Of course. Because I got the stencil sitting here. You know, this one. Yes. I'm going to get into some trouble with that. <laughs> and I have my new stamp. Look at. I got to figure out what to do with it. So anytime I get a stamp, I always get two because you need one for your ink and one for the embossing ink, you know, the clear. So I don't like cleaning my stamps every time I want to do my embossing ink. You know what I'm saying? So I get two. So I'm excited. So these are the next ones I'm going to do. So maybe tomorrow we'll figure out something to do with this and something to do with this. I'm excited. Okay. So I'm going to go post these in group. Ow, my nail got stuck. <laughs> I'm going to go post these in group. Thanks for the thumbs up, you guys. That really helps my videos get watched. I'll see you tomorrow, okay? Bye.
Hi, Raven. We're leaving. Sorry. I'm going to come back, though. 